uh, hey, excuse me, do you have the time? Uh, yeah, sure. It's time for Animaniacs, and we're saying it to the max. Animaniacs was a show from the 90s that just about everybody remembers. It had so many different pop culture references, it had amazing characters, especially the Warners and Pinky and the Brain, you probably remember those guys. But basically, there's an article on IndieWire that just came out saying that an Animaniacs reboot is being developed by Steven Spielberg, Amblin TV, and Warner Bros. Now what the article is saying is that this reboot for Animaniacs is in very early development so we don't know any information and this is like a very general article, but the return is basically confirmed at this point although in the article it states specifically that there is no current home for Animaniacs which means they don't know a channel to actually air the episodes on if the show actually does come back but basically I think this problem can be easily fixed because we live in a world where streaming is like one of the biggest ways to watch TV so you could easily just put Animaniacs on Netflix and put all the new episodes there because that's like really convenient it's a great big universe and we're all really puny We're just tiny little specks about the size of Mickey Rooney It's big and black and icky and we are small and dinky It's a big universe and we're not So basically, do I think this Animaniacs reboot will be any good? Well, yeah, I think it'll be actually really good because it's being developed by Steven Spielberg. He was the guy who made the original series so good, and he included all these different pop culture references. He made the Warners break the fourth wall all the time, and basically, he's the main person that made Animaniacs so memorable, and it's why we all love it today. But I want to talk about if this show will be good, like, in this current time period. Now, if you remember, 90s animation was much different than it is today, and Animaniacs broke a bunch of different barriers that weren't really broken before, so basically, they would reference the viewer, they would teach lessons about existentialism, like you wouldn't really see that in kids' cartoons nowadays. 201, which is supposed to be BH Beverly Hills 90210. How could they get that wrong? Is this you? Are you happily engrossed in inconsequential cartoon trivia to the point that your socks can probably stand up by themselves? Well, if you are, there's hope, there's help, there's the Please, please, please get a life foundation. But Anime X was just different. It had a lot of different stuff from other kids' cartoons. There was just so much in it that you don't see anywhere else. And I feel like this reboot can dive into even deeper topics. Like a bunch of kids nowadays get random equals funny cartoons. Like nothing good happens. And I feel like Animaniacs would be something different. You could actually learn. You could have a good time watching. And at the same time, there are funny adult jokes in the show. The humor might be toned down a little because this is a much different time period from the 90s. But I feel like the Animaniacs reboot will actually be good and it won't be like Teen Titans Go. It won't be like the Powerpuff Girls reboot. I think it's actually going to be something worth watching. I'm really excited for this Animaniacs reboot to come out. I'm going to be keeping up with the news and seeing when it actually does come out. But yeah, I think this is a really good idea and they can include a bunch of different pop culture references, lessons, adult jokes, and just a bunch of stuff that worked well on the older show. Anyway, that's all for this video. Subscribe for more awesome cartoon videos. Give a thumbs up and comment below to let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.